Welcome back to the Form Z for Maxwell Render video training. In this video, we will explore the lighting solutions available in Maxwell Render. First of all, hide the background object and the emitter planes to focus on the table and cups. Activate View 1 to get a close-up of the cups and the table. In the Display menu, open the Display Options window to get access to the Maxwell Render General Options panel. From here, you can control the main Maxwell Render parameters. In the Environment tab, you can choose between None, Sky Dome and Physical Sky Environments. As we're using an HDRI, leave the environment set to None. Enabling the Alpha Channel allows you to export an Alpha Channel for compositing. In the HDRI tab, enable Illumination and browse to the HDRI file provided with this video. The HDR image will light your scene. In the display menu, hit Maxwell Render to launch your scene for rendering. Your scene is automatically exported to the MXS format and rendered in Maxwell. High dynamic range images capture the lighting conditions from the place they were taken and allow you to use that same light in your scenes. This is a nice technique to match real life lighting. You can use both HDRI and MXI files to light your scenes. You can manually stop the rendering process by hitting the stop button. Back in Form Z, open the Maxwell Options panel and enable the Sky Dome Environment mode. You can choose the dome color using the color picker. Then disable the HDRI illumination. If you want your dome color to appear in the image as a background, disable the alpha channel checkbox. Export your scene to Maxwell Render. Play with the shutter and ISO sliders to adjust the exposure if your render looks too dark or too bright. Sky Dome provides nice, smooth lighting with soft shadows. Rendering will continue until the render time is up, the desired sampling level has been reached, or until you manually stop it. Open the Maxwell Render Options panel again and choose the Physical Sky mode. You can use the parameters from the Form Z Sky or use the full Maxwell settings. You can adjust the location, date and time. Maxwell Render will recreate the lighting conditions of that specific place and time. Disable the sun to get overcast illumination. If the Alpha Channel checkbox is ticked, the render will be pre-multiplied over a black background. If Alpha Channel is disabled, you will see the sky in the render. Disable the HDRI environment and launch the scene to render.
The physical sky produces a very accurate and extremely realistic natural lighting and, as you can see, it's very easy to use. If necessary, you can control the atmospheric conditions of the sky even further. Let's talk about emitters. Unhide the background and the emitter layers. In Maxwell Render, light is emitted from actual geometry with an emitter material applied. A simple plane is enough in most cases. Assign an emitter and material to the planes. And we'll explain how to create and manage materials in the next video. Disable the external illumination, like physical sky, sun, dome or HDRI, to test the contribution of the emitters. Enable the close-up view to get a close-up shot and hit Maxwell Render. Now the scene is being lit by the three emitters. You can control the light color and the light power in watts, just like in real lamps, by editing the emitter material. You can always change the shutter speed and ISO sliders to adjust the exposure of the image if you find it too dark or too bright. You can adjust them while rendering or after the render is stopped. You can control the light intensity of the emitters by enabling multi-light. Enable it in the Maxwell Options panel. When enabling multi-light, a slider to control the intensity of each emitter material will appear. The slider allows you to control the contribution of the emitters separately. We applied the same emitter material to the three planes, so one single slider appears to control them all. If you want to adjust each emitter separately, you should apply a different emitter material to each plane. This gives you extra control over your image, allowing you to get exact results without having to relaunch the render after every adjustment, saving precious time. In the Maxwell Options panel, you will find a tab to adjust the camera parameters. Maxwell cameras work like real-life cameras. The F-stop parameter adjusts the diaphragm aperture, which controls the exposure of the image. This parameter also allows you to control the depth of field, or DOF, effect. As with real-life cameras, the lower the f-stop value, the wider the diaphragm aperture, and the more obvious the DOF effect. A higher value, like 28, makes all your objects appear in focus. 
Try different f-stop values to create different DOF effects in your renders.